knew he would be. What is wrong with them? Every joke I said tonight was funny. The one about the banker was definitely a crowd pleaser. What the hell happened? Just wasn't your best performance. You're just out of practice, man. You've been managing the country club for a while now. I'm naturally funny, okay? <laughs> I don't need practice. <laughs> that is not what the crowd thought. <laughs> The jokes were just a little hit or miss tonight. Okay, what about the one with the kids on Halloween? That was funny, right? Uh, you talked about luring kids into your home with candy. It made everyone uncomfortable. Okay, maybe I didn't think that one completely out, but you have to admit, the joke I ended the show with was great. Straight guy, lesbian, gay guy walk into a bar. Yeah, I wonder who that was about. What can I say? I have good material. That's because we're naturally funny. I called Brenda twice before I went on tonight. She's too sick to come out to the show. That's what happens when you're pregnant. Yeah, but she's never missed a show of mine, and this was supposed to be my big comeback. All I did was embarrass myself on stage. Look, it wasn't your best show by a long shot, but you can't beat yourself up about it. Yeah, you just need to work on your delivery. Other than that, the jokes weren't that bad. Yeah, I would have never bombed if Brenda was there, though. She's my good luck charm. I kiss her before every show. Dude, I could see your nervous sweating from the fifth row. It was bad. And plus, if you're naturally funny, then it'll just come to you. you gotta relax. <laughs> just like it was in the past. I can do it in the present, okay? I'm telling you, if Brenda was there, the crowd would've loved me. I'm hearing a lot of Brenda and not enough Clark. Yeah, like, what are you gonna do when Brenda can't make it because, I don't know, she's pregnant? Dude, I'm not trying to become one of those guys who can't do anything without his wife, but I can't do stand-up without my wife. She would have been there if she wasn't pregnant. Here we go. Are you seriously about to blame your unborn child for you bombing an open mic? It wasn't an open mic night. I was scheduled to perform. Wait, you mean you got paid for that performance? I was supposed to, but the host said he actually lost money from how badly I performed. Wait, you should have actually I was about to defend you, but I definitely saw some people asking for their money back. Anyway, Enough about my dreams being destroyed. What's new with you guys? Well, I've officially moved Marcus out of my life. Hmm. All right, congratulations. What'd you tell him? Nothing, he hasn't texted me since Christmas party. Damn, somehow, I actually feel better about my performance tonight. But I did meet this cute guy at Izzy K. Uh, we were flirting at the register and he was giving me all the green lights, but before I could say anything or get his number, Helen called me in the back. Helen truly knows how to ruin a mood. One night, me and Chris were there late, and I was trying to get her to take me to the back, you know, for some private fittings. And just as we're headed to the back, fucking phone rings. And of course, it's Helen. Wait, so the mystery guy just vanished when he came back? Yep, he was gone. And, uh, you know, maybe it was for the best. Ever since Marcus hasn't texted me back, you know, I've had a lot of time to just focus on myself. I haven't really thought about myself much since we've been in a relationship. That's good. Focusing on yourself is key to any stable relationship. Yeah, but focusing on yourself too much in a relationship can also be a problem. Huh? You know what? I've never ordered food from here before. Are you guys hungry? Since when do we keep secrets from the group? Secrets? Wait, you told him? Hey, hey, don't yell at him. Of course he told me, but why wouldn't you tell me? I know I work with Kristen, but we've been friends for years. This isn't exactly something I wanted everybody to know about. Obviously not, but why are you doing this in the first place? What kind of question is that? You know shit like this doesn't just happen. I didn't ask for this. But you had no problem continuing it. Man, this is why I didn't want to tell you in the first place. You're so quick to judge me without even hearing my side. Your side? What side is there? I'm not judging you, I'm trying to figure out why. I don't know why. I've tried to end it twice by now. I just keep backing out at the last minute. Backing out? You mean even blowing her back out instead of telling her it's over? No, that's not what I meant, but that's kind of how it's been happening. Come on, T. I'm weak, okay? I'm just really weak. 
Cassie just knows how to push my button. <sighs> Wait a minute. She knows how to push your buttons? Please don't tell me you've been pillow talking with her. I promise that her nose is bad. What are you gonna do if she catches feelings for you? Come on, she wouldn't. She knows I have a girl. See, that's the thing with these side chicks though. They don't wanna stay on the side forever. That's not gonna happen. She's not looking for anything serious. This is a complete no strings attached situation. Yeah, because those always seem to work out. She's not that type of girl. I know her. Wait a minute, did you just say you know her? How close are these pillow talks? Yeah, what are y'all living together? Talking about how many kids you're gonna have? Have you met her parents? Has she met yours? Man, fuck you. It's not even like that. <laughs> Yo, holy shit. You like her. I do not. Yes, you do. We can tell. Can we just go back to talking about Clark's shitty ass performance? It wasn't that bad. It was pretty bad. <sighs> I can't tell Chris. I just can't. You need to end this, Steven. You're here.